What's up guys, it is I, once again, Yusuf El Senad. After having reviewed Emma Blackery's Feel Good 101, The Outsider's Guide to a Happier Life, it's about time I review a second novel. This time, Max Brooks' 2006 released apocalyptic horror novel, World War Z, an oral history of the zombie war, which was released three years after his first novel, The Zombie Guide to Survival, or some other title it must have had, but this book was released three years after that book. It's essentially a follow-up. I haven't read that book, though I have read World War Z twice, and both times is absolutely amazing, guys. I really do love this book so much. World War Z was later adapted into a feature-length film by Mark Forster alongside many other writers, which eventually starred Brad Pitt as the lead character, and Brad Pitt and World War Z as a whole is a movie I really did enjoy so much and while that movie isn't perfect it's not based in any way on World War Z the novel because World War Z the novel is basically a documentation of the experiences people have went through during this 10 years zombie war the 10 year zombie epidemic which is completely different from World War Z the feature length film by Mark Forrester and this book guys is very complex and very huge and has an epic scale feel even though we are basically seeing the story unfold from different point of views whether be it in the United States of America, Iran, Taiwan, China, Russia, Israel, Palestine, among many other countries around the world. This book is so huge in terms of how the story is told from different point of views. World War Z begins with the narrator or the writer of this book who is basically telling us, the readers, about how he is going to basically document the experiences and hardships of many people from different nations across the world and how they have to deal with the zombie apocalypse which obviously destroyed their lives some of who have died and some of who have survived during this 10-year war and many of who have lost their beloved ones to the zombie epidemic and this war guys has destroyed many lives it's basically the equivalent to World War 3 if World War 3 were to actually come to fruition God forbid but this book is so amazing in terms of how the stories are told especially from different experiences of different people and the narrator is basically someone who's there to simply capture the story of these people and it's not so much about him but their experiences and he is telling us their experiences and he is basically allowing us to hear their stories and what they had to go through and what we take from their stories and how it might change us it's a very fascinating story yours truly found to be so amazing and such a wonderful read. One of my favorite parts of this novel is when we see the story unfold from the point of view of this young man from Palestine, which is right after the story told from the point of view of one adult from Israel. Tel Aviv, Israel, I believe is the part of which that adult man is from, and this story from the point of view of the Palestinian refugee. It's quite funny because this young man really hates Israel, and he really hates all Jews because of how the Jews have persecuted his people and have shown nothing but prejudice even though this war between Israel and Palestine has so many complexities to it it's not a one-sided war because both sides are wrong and even though the Palestinians are technically my Arab brothers I don't see them as completely saint or as completely flawless of their sins because both sides have their flaws and this this one young man from Palestine is quite funny. I mean, this young man is a martyr or someone who wants to be a martyr and he hates the Israelis so much and when he learns about the zombie epidemic from some sources over from Israel and his father is so worried about his family putting them as his first priority, including his son, his dim-witted son, and the son of course opposes his father's belief that the Israeli are to save them and trying to protect them because this young man does not understand that it's far bigger than them right now. It's bigger than Israel. It's bigger than Palestine because their true enemy is the zombie of the zombie
zombie apocalypse and he is worried about them including his dumbass son and how they have to listen to the Israelis by going to their camp in which they can receive protection and treatment if they did in fact caught the virus which is referred to simply as the plague or the zombie plague and this young man is so foolish and so naive and just so dim-witted his father had to slap him in his face multiple times and to yell at him even though he's known as a man who's not one to get angry so easily and is someone who loves his family but when his son accuses him of being a traitor and basically calling him a whore of Israel or something like that his father loses his mind and attacks his son and tells him you will go to this camp or you will go no matter what you may think or what you may believe in you are my son you are my family and you will listen to me you will obey me this son is such a weakling I mean he talks about being a martyr and about doing this for his people for his faith his religion it's so embarrassing guys because in the end he's a chicken a chicken shit who can't stand against his own father he said so himself something about you know not being a true martyr or some martyr I am and I was like yeah brother yeah some martyr you are but yeah guys that was my favorite part of the novel a part which I really did love a lot because of how silly it was and how silly the son is but this story is just so amazing and the different point of views from different people and their respective countries is so amazing and hearing their tales unfold is quite horrifying but also quite interesting and this book guys I was so blown by it and considering that I have not read the zombie guide to survival which I do want to read World War Z is the book that actually got me interested in reading that book the zombie guide to survival and Max Brooks writing and just the fact that he captures the perspectives of these people without once being biased towards any of them is truly amazing guys Max Brooks World War Z deals in many issues and many themes and ideas such themes and ideas about how the United States of America is basically isolating themselves from the world and dealing with their own issues and making their people their first priority and not caring about other nations despite the fact that America is technically the most powerful country in the entire world and they can do what they want even though many countries are dependent on America and them supporting them in whatever outbreaks or whatever terrorist attacks they may endure but America Uncle Sam you know does not favor any other countries but its own because you know America this book is also about survival and how people are to survive against the zombie epidemic it starts off with people being so scared and so frightened by the zombie epidemic and the fact that their countries are not warning them about the zombie epidemic and other countries are doing the exact same thing not warning their people until after it has happened and the zombies have come to their doorsteps and killed those they love the government is so inept in what they do not listening to their people or trying to do what they have to do to ensure their safety and well-being because the government is all about their image and them trying to preserve their image whatever it may be and keeping whatever secrets they have as a secret so the public would not go crazy and create a worldwide panic and that would be very bad for them but they don't care guys because you know it's the government Max Brooks World War Z is such a great novel and one I did find to be very fascinating and this book is definitely for you guys and gals to read if you wish thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish if you want to see more from me then please do check out my gaming channel where I do let's play series gaming content all that kind of good stuff until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara